Hey students, this is Mr. Kubisak. wanted to create a short video here for you to go over how to set up your essays in the MLA format. Now, this is purely page formatting that we're going to talk about here today. Um, and I'm doing this on my computer because uh, it's a lot easier to do all of these steps on your computer. There are some steps that you can do on your um, iPad. Um, but um, we'll have some Chromebooks available in the classroom. Um, and you can also use the um, iMacs in the Commons or uh, or your computer at home to do this if you need to. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you the steps that you can do on your iPad and I'll tell you the steps that you can do only on a computer or a Chromebook. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is set up the header um, and we're going to go put our name in here. I'm just going to do a generic student here. Um, the teacher is Mr. Kubizak. The class is English 2 and the date is in the European style and that's with the day before the month um, and so we're going to do today is 9 December 2016. You write out the entire year. Um, next thing I want to draw your attention to is um, our title. Um, we're going to center this. Now this you can do on your iPad. It's, it's fairly easy. You select the text, click on the um, the little A thing on your iPad, and then click the center. Um, we've got all this fake text in here. and just uh, It's all gibberish. Um, while we're centering things, um, I want to center the orcs sided as well. Now, if you only have one... Um, works cited entry, then it would just be work cited. Um, but since um, we have a few works cited, you should have at least six, remember, for your argumentative essay. Um, we're going to call it works cited because it's more than one. We're also going to center this. I want, you, I want you to notice also, maybe you noticed as I was scrolling down, there are no extra spaces in between paragraphs or in between sections um, or in between the works cited entries. Um, now, I want you to make sure that you've done that also. Extra spaces mean that it's not in the proper format. Okay. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of the text of our the body of our essay. Um, now, this you're going to have to do on, the, uh, on a computer or a Chromebook. So we're going to, we're going to adjust the, uh, the left margin here. Now, MLA calls for a 0.5 inch or half inch margin um, indent for the first line of each paragraph. So in order to do that, we've got these two little things over here. We've got the left indent and we've got the first line indent. So this uh, little dash looking thing, we're going to drag over here to half inch. And there you go. Um, very easy. It automatically does it. Every time you hit enter after you've, after you've done this, it will automatically... Um, automatically set the cursor to be at the proper place um, half inch indent. Um, I'm not going to do that for now because I don't want an extra space in between our works cited. Next thing we're going to do is go down and highlight the works cited all of the entries here. Now I only have two because this is an example um, but we're going to highlight this and this is uh, kind of the opposite of what we've done up here. It's got um, instead of having the first line indented at a half inch, the second, third, or fourth lines, if there are that many, um, will be indented. Um, so what we got to do is drag the entire left hand margin over here, left indent, over to 0.5. Um, you see that it's in line now with the half inch indent. Um, and then we're going to take the first line indent and pull that back over to zero and there we have our hanging indent so we've got this right here next thing we're going to do is we're going to select all of the text and we're going to do our double space now this you can do on your ipad as well um, it's up a little uh, paintbrush thing in the top right hand corner of your ipad but we'll, it's a lot easier to do to select text and um, do all this stuff on a computer or chromebook so we're going to select double space um, so we've got double space, you know, so uh, everything is double spaced, even the header up here. Um, and there's no extra spaces in between everything, anything. Um, next thing I want to look at is the font while we've got everything that is um, highlighted here. We want our font to be all one size. So if this, um, 
grays out or disappears, that means that some of your fonts are different sizes. Um, it should all be the same size. Now, MLA calls for a 12 point font. Um, Google Docs, Word, and Pages all default to 11 now. Um, so I'm fine with 11. I'm not super picky about the font size. As long as it's not any bigger than 12, um, then we're okay. Um, it should be Arial or Times or Times New Roman. Um, those are pretty much the two fonts that you should be using. It should be um, a very standard looking font. It shouldn't be something that looks scripty or um, that's every single letter is italicized or something like that. I want to make sure that we're um, it's easy to read for the for for professors and for other people. Um, so next thing we want to do is to add in our page numbers. So I'm going to go to the insert menu. Um, this is possible to do on your iPad, but it's it's pretty buried uh, in there, and it's it's not super easy to do. So it's a lot easier if you've got the computer up or the Chromebook up. Just come to the insert menu, go to page number. Um, we're going to do the top right and you'll see this one has it on the first page. This one skips the first page and starts. Um, so if you're going to have a title page, um, it would start counting on the second page. We want every single page to have uh, a page number on it. Um, so what it does here is it pops it up here in the right hand corner. Um, and we want it in the top right corner as opposed to the bottom. Um, and then we're going to click ahead of the, the number there. And we're going to put our last name. I was doing it capitalized there. Um, so, and put a space in between the number. Um, so you'll see here in a second that um, it'll update that every time a new page is created um, by the document. The other, next thing we want to do is we want to hit enter once here. Um, Google has this annoying habit of putting it right at the top of the page. So if you were to print it out, it doesn't actually print. It's outside of the printable margins. So, um, and it also doesn't look super good. So we're going to pop it down, hit enter once, um, and that'll do the same thing for all the subsequent pages here. So you can see we've got a page number student two here on this second page. Um, last thing I want to do is set up the works cited on its own page. Now, if we were printing these out, I'd say save a tree. Don't print on an extra page. Um, just keep your works cited at the bottom of this page. Since it fits on, on this page at the bottom of your essay, I'd be fine with it just staying right there. But since we're living in a digital age and we're turning in things digitally, we're going to insert a page break here. Um, in order to give works cited its own page um, to follow the MLA format properly. Um, now, the long way to do it is to just keep hitting enter until everything's on the next page. But if you change anything in the body of your essay, it's going to mess up with it. It's going to mess that up as well. The easy way to do this is to click insert and enter a page break here. And that'll make sure that it always stays on its own page. You see also here that it updated this, the uh, page with the page number and student name as well. Um, so that's all I got for today right now. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure that you ask.